Okay, in this video we're going to look at the definition of something called Euler's phi function or Euler's totient function um, along with some examples and then we'll prove a formula for its value on the prime numbers. We'll do a formula for its value on uh, all natural numbers in a later video. So let's look at the definition. So we define it as a function from n to n, so natural numbers to natural numbers, and phi of n is equal to the number um, of elements in this set. So let's look at this set. This is made up of all natural numbers between 1 and n that are relatively prime to n. Good. So, um, if you notice from a previous video, when we looked at the group of units modulo n, um, we noticed that the group of units of modulo n had exactly these elements in them. So this is in fact the same as the number of um, elements in the group of units modulo n. Um, so let's look at some examples. So let's maybe look first at a phi of 5. So here we want to look at the number of um, positive integers that are smaller than 5 that are relatively prime with 5. So that gives us 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so that's obviously 4. So that means phi of 5 is 4. Good. So let's look at phi of 8. So that's going to be the number of, and now we have to skip all even numbers. So here we have 1, 3, 5, 7. So notice the GCD of 2 with 8 is 2, 4 with 8 is 4, and 6 with 8 is also 2. And so those are not 1, so we can't keep those. So again, we also get 4 in this case. So let's look at one more before we prove a result about um, its value on the prime numbers. So phi of 15. So again, we'll make a list in this case. So this is the number of elements in this set. So we want everything relatively prime to 15 that is smaller than 15. So we have 1, 2, 4, 7. So notice we skipped 3, 5, and 6, um, 8, 11, 13, and then finally 14. So notice we had to skip 10, we had to skip 12, we had to skip 9, and so on and so forth. So if you count this up, you get 8. Okay, great. So I'll clean up the board and then we'll prove um, a formula for the number of, uh, for the value of phi of a prime. Okay, now that we've defined Euler's totient function, we've looked, looked at some examples, let's prove the first simple result regarding Euler's totient function, and that is the following. So we have this following proposition. So for a prime P, we have P of P equals P minus 1. Um, great, so maybe this is obvious um, because the only things that are not relatively prime to a prime will be mul multiples of that prime, and everything smaller than P is not a multiple of that prime, but we'll look at a little more careful proof just kind of for practice. <clears throat> so the proof goes as follows. So notice the only divisors of P are 1 and P. So that's by the definition of a prime number. Good. And now if we let M be less than P, um, then we have PM, it cannot be divisible by P because it's smaller than P, which tells us that uh, the only divisors of P that divide M are also 1, so that tells us that the GCD of P and M equals 1, which tells us that uh, the set 
containing everything relatively prime to p that's smaller than p includes all numbers 1 to p minus 1 from which our result follows. So I won't write down all the details, but I think we've said all the details verbally. Okay, good. This is the end of this video. So in the next video, we'll look at a formula for um, phi of a power of a prime.